Oh, okay. <laughs> you slacked off for a while. Yeah. For a little bit. Now you, you get to the mosquitoes and bugs and mm -hmm. everything around the house. So. Oh, yeah. I got a pool and I've got a, I call it a bike. It's a creek. It runs on both sides of the house. I oh, mean, we wow. got mosquitoes galore. Oh, yeah, I imagine you do. tempted to put dishwashing liquid in the water. <laughs> it would make a difference, but I'd probably go to jail from the EPA or something. Yeah, you said the bird one you say the bees and mosquitoes and bats are bad. To They're going to be bad this year because of the warm winter we had. No, yeah. not the cold we not and, and all the rain well, we had. We never had anything to knock the mosquitoes yeah. down. So, I mean, even during the wintertime, if I'd get outside late in the afternoon, I'd have mosquitoes yeah. all over me. Yeah. That's like last night, I was pulling one of my hives apart, just checking to see if I could find the queen. And I scratching all over the place. When I got done, my arms were red. Yeah. From all the way mosquitoes. down. Never got a bee sting. But I mean, I was covered with Look, look at the ants. Look at them. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, just come on. Get on the side of Come on. Come on. Get. Come on. They, they come out this time of night, I think. And that's about the bees. You know, they say it's quarter to five right now. Yeah. And usually at the house... Around five o'clock, they're starting to settle down, and you can see I've aggravated them really good. Oh yeah, and they're 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 all bunching up there, and uh, they'll be like this. You know, I see a few of them coming in and out, moving around, and then I can go back out. You know, thirty minutes later, five thirty, six o'clock, something like that, and won't see a won't see a bee moving. Yeah. I know when and, I come out, it was dark last night. And I put the cover on, I had my flashlight, mm -hmm. and they were all there. You know. I just yeah. put that cover on it, and it slid down and hit it. I said, uh-oh, yeah. hopefully I didn't disturb them, you know, and then they attached themselves right to it. Well, I would say, and I'm just guessing, but by the size of the larvae, if I can go by that, the, the, uh, the brood in there, mm -hmm. because I've got uh, I've got some at the house that started from scratch like these did. Yeah. And I'd say these are about a week old. Is that day. right? Yeah. And we've actually had, that we put them in a box, that's just a paper box right there. We've actually put them in a box like that and, and left them less than 24 hours. And they'd have comb hanging like that, that oh, wow. wide. And that's just in a 24-hour period. Yeah. So, I mean, they, they really get with the program. I mean, they get it built because when they're trying to build a new home in the Queen, sure. she's ready to start laying eggs. Yeah. So, I mean, they're, they're ready to go right off the bat. There's not too many left. They're all on the box. They're yeah. The I mean, there, there, there's a couple. And I think that, I don't even think there's very many in the grass moving around. No, I don't see any in the right there. So, I mean, I, they, I, there might be a handful of them that's still stuck around here. And they might linger for a couple of days, uh -huh. give or take, because they don't have any place to go. And they'll just, they'll go off, they'll dissipate. But that was pretty lucky finding the queen right off the bat. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you came out. Like I say, Brett said, yeah, I'll come out and spray them, kill them. Yeah. Uh, if I, we can help, but we don't need to do that. Right. I mean, that's they're that's dangerous what they're right now. They... And if I didn't have a place to, to go with them, if I didn't have a hive, then uh -huh. I would just collect them and go somewhere and let them go. Yeah. You know, yeah. maybe off in the wild somewhere, they can find them another home, another hive. But uh, at least they survive. Yeah. That's that's it. It. feel bad. I had a, uh, a call last Friday and I tried to get a hold of the guy because they he had called the pest company and uh, they'd give him, they said, well, it's going to cost this much to come spray him. They yeah. got to send a guy in a truck. He's oh, yeah. got to pay him and all yeah. gas and all. And he was, man, that much money? I'll just take care of it myself. So they thought of me and they called me and I kept trying to get a hold of him. Look, I'll come do it for free. Yeah. Just, you know, don't Save do nothing to him and I'll yeah. come there and I'll get him. Yeah. And I never got a call back. And so I'm pretty sure he probably had done sprayed them by the time I called the first time. So, I mean, it was too late. But then I got a call, another call before that day was out to go to the Pollock uh, Federal Prison. They had a uh, they had a swarm over there. Uh -huh. it, was, it was up, I, I don't know, 15, 20 foot in the air on the side of the second level of a yeah. uh, building. And so they lifted me up over razor wire and set me down. And I walked down the... I couldn't take video of it. They wouldn't let you bring nothing in. Yeah, they wouldn't let you in there. <laughs> but I, I captured that swarm. Everything went, went well. Oh, I got stung yeah. twice because I was aggravating them a lot, trying to get them to hurry up because they were fixed yeah. to have shift change, and they had, they had taken all the inmates and locked them up yeah. for me to come in. Yeah. 
So I was trying to hurry up and get through it as easy as quickly as I could to not inconvenience them. You know, so I wound up getting stung on the wrist right there and then on the leg. But normally, like I said, if you don't, if you don't, you don't hurt them. You don't. Now, touch will them. these have a nest in the ground? No. Now we no. had. This, this is about as close as they'll get to actually having a nest in the ground. Uh -huh. is in something like that. Yeah. And this is quite regular, you know, with these air holes and what have you on the edges that they can get up in there. They'll well, do that. I it was and they'll cool, actually build in a tree and too. And there's water there for them, and it's and that's, cool. And that's that's a big part. Yeah. Is being having you know having access to water. Yeah. Because uh, that's a large part of them making their home, their honey, and uh -huh. all that is, is water. Because we had a nest out here in, in the ground. Now, I think those were yellow jackets. Yeah, those would have been yellow jackets. They got in my shirt and got me a couple of times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing about them. The yellow jacket, one yellow jacket can sting you as many times as it can before you swat uh -huh. it. Wow. These right here, they'll sting you one time and they die. Uh -huh. oh, and, that and that's another reason that? why they're not as aggravating. Now, there are certain types of honeybees. They call yeah. them black bees. But uh, they little bees like this, and they black, and they mean as all get out. And they just hate everyone and everything. But, uh... The, the, just a plain Jane honeybees. Yeah. Um, if they don't have anything to defend, they don't want to sting you because, they're, like I said, they're going to die if they do. And so uh, they, they they rarely sting someone unless they're threatened or you crush one of them or yeah. something like that. Look, they're all all gone in the box. Yeah, yeah. they're taking care of the queen. That's what they're doing. Yeah, and that's what I'll try and do is hurry up and get them to the house and, and get them in another another hive so. I can get that comb and, and hopefully try and do something with it. The comb's so delicate that I don't know if I can yeah. mount it in another hive. Uh -huh. uh, there's ways of doing that, but I'm really not prepared to, to try and, and get that. But I'm going to do the best I can to see if I can get them in there. Well, you saved the really queen. Do you have a lot of them out where you live? A lot um, of them. We call them honey. Hives. Honey bees. Yeah. Oh, well, he has some. Yeah. So I have a few, but out where I'm, where I'm at, some bleach on that later on. Uh, you don't have any? That didn't help. Can I aggravate them? <laughs> the main thing is the queen's okay. Yeah. I'll put it back on, don't worry about it. Don't okay. worry about it. Because I want to spray it down with some bleach, like you said. And 